Hello Airsoft friends and welcome to this video today where today I'm going to be taking a little look at the two Novrich knives. Now I have already done a video looking at this one here which is the Vulcan knife and it has got my little Project Airsoft bendy rubbery blade in there as well. So this one is Airsoft Stafe. Stafe? Safe. And this is the more common, more cost effective one and this is the one that's actually still available on the website. Again with the real metal blade, not this bendy one that you can poke people in the face with. But this one here is the Invictus knife and this is the one that was the limited edition is a bit more expensive than the other one and also came with that fancy NFT. But as you can see, both of the knives look quite similar in terms of like build and construction. I've had a little closer look at this and I have seen one feature mainly which is different from the Vulcan knife. So I'm going to show that off to you as well. And then you can kind of like get an idea for yourself what you may have missed out with with the uh, with the Invictus knife versus the Vulcan. And of course, if you do want to get one of these Novrich knives, then you can also get them on the website still on novrich.com. Or if you check out the link in the description, I've got a cheeky little affiliate code. So if you use that code, then you'll be supporting the channel and just kind of helping me out a little bit. And I thank you all very much for that. On the outset, both of these knives just look very similar to each other. One of them is a little bit lighter. One of them is a little bit darker. The materials are different between the two knives though. If you look at... Okay, well, <laughs> if you look at the web picture for the Vulcan knife, you can see the marking on the blade for the type of metal used. And coming over here to the Invictus, you can see again, we have got the marking for the metal, and this is M390. So between both of the different knives, there is a different steel being used. I'm not a master or engineer with a huge amount of knowledge to tell you what is difference between these two types of metals, but I think it's safe to say that the M390 steel that's used on the Invictus knife is a fair old bit fancier than the, uh, than the steel that's used on the uh, on the Vulcan. I'm so sad that I didn't just bring the blade portion of my Vulcan knife with me as well because it would have been so nice to have put them kind of like side by side and, and, and look at them together. But you know what? The blades do visually look exactly the same. They do have the same uh, cutout. They do have the same shape and the same design as each other. But this one here, it does feel a little bit smoother to be honest. I imagine that the M390 steel is also harder and potentially has also got the uh, the option to get it sharper as well. To be fair, that blade does feel a lot sharper than, than my Vulcan knife is. I'm gonna try and cut this tissue paper here. Maybe I need a sheet of paper. <laughs> Just a sheet of A4 paper. You can try this one, but to be fair, I already cut some cardboard with it. It might not be the sharpest anymore. It does feel sharp though. Like when I do my thumb on it, it does feel quite pointy. Let's have a little... Look at that. That is, I mean, that's beautiful. It's, that is really nice. I didn't realize how satisfying cutting paper is. Usually I'll watch these like sushi knife videos and they're just like, oh, look at me cutting this paper. And I'm a little bit like, when are you ever gonna use a knife to cut paper? Like I understand the point of it is to be like, oh, look how sharp it is. But you know what? It is actually a little bit addicting when you start chopping it through and slicing it ever, ever, ever thinner. Look at that, yes. So sharpness wise is very good and we'll cut through what you need it to. I think it was yesterday, a big old box came for Joseph with a couple of like SSP 18s, a load of like sights and things like that in there. And he just got this knife out, cut all the way through it. And I was like, you know what? Can I just borrow that? I just I just wanna have a little cheeky little look at it. Is that okay? It was like, okay, sure, here you go. And this is number 56 of the limited set that there, that there was. And again, these sold out like within the first day of them going online. So yeah, if you were able to get one of the Invictus knives, that you've got a very fancy knife there, I can tell you that for sure. The only physical difference that I've been able to, to see between the Invictus and the Vulcan knife is on the Invictus, you'll see where the little blade retention arm is, there is this little torque screw there. And on the Vulcan, you don't have that little torque screw. And I was like, what's going on there then? Why is there a little torque screw on this one, which it doesn't have it on this one? Do you know where that is? Yeah, well, this is stainless steel, so you don't need it. It's very hard to do it. But oh, this okay. is titanium, ah. so you need to make it, you know, secure. Gotcha. There you go. So if you were to bend it more than that a lot, then you could damage the material. Interesting. There you go. So because this is all super fancy titanium, you need to have that little stopper there so you don't bend it too much and then potentially damage it. If I pull it up there, you can kind of see if I don't cut the camera off that the, the bendy arm, it stops it from going further than that there, like it's a little stopper arm that's on it. And if I come back through here and uh, and show you the Vulcan, I can bend this arm up as far as I want to. So having that little stopper stops you from over bending this little arm bit out on there and damaging it in future too. Knowledge is power and we are learning constantly. We are always getting extra knowledge into our faces. So yeah, originally I thought it was just gonna be some kind of like tactical type thing or some kind of uh, aspect of it, which because you've got the stopper on there, it stops the, the, the stopper arm, I guess, the locking arm from moving out too much. So your 
not expending or using any additional energy which you otherwise might need to in order to to kind of like get the to open the knife up or to, to click it in place. It's due to the titanium. And as you all know, titanium is a pretty darn fancy material and a bit more expensive, I would say, than the uh, than the stainless steel option that we've got in the Vulcan. The extra pounds are going on getting some extra fancy materials in the build. I still love just how sharp this thing is. Like, it is ruddy, ruddy sharp. If I put that over there and let's do a double sheet, how can we do that still? Ooh. Let's go straight to four, four sheets of the A4 and see how easy, if it is easy, to, to cut through it with the Invictus. And again, remember, this has been opening a ton of cardboard boxes, so the blade isn't gonna be at its sharpest. So if it can still do this, I'm color me impressed. Four sheets of paper, all the way straight through, no issue at all. I wanna see how many more I can do. That's gonna be six. And at that point, I think that you're gonna be pretty much safe in you know, your terms of general usage. And this is so ruddy pointy. If you did wanna poke it into anything, I don't think you're gonna have many issues there at all. So this is six sheets of paper. It goes through six sheets of paper like it's nothing. Like that's literally still just going all the way straight through. I kind of want to use my Vulcan, like get the get the regular blade put back on it again when I get back home. Because I'm currently in the Novich offices, if you didn't know. I am enjoying, you know, just, just kind of like chilling out here, having a little look at all of the crazy rifts that we've got all around the place, you know, just hanging around, all chill, all normal. But when I get home, I want to like try cooking with this thing. I want to actually put this knife to the test, you know, cut some tomatoes up, cut some maybe like parsnips, something like a bit harder like carrots, see how it performs in the kind of real world aspect and also get some steak too and see how easily it cuts through that meat. So I imagine there's gonna be a, a load of people out there who are gonna get this kind of thing, taking it out, using it for their everyday carry or their EDC, out in the woods, maybe for a bit of hunting, maybe they're gonna use it to like, I don't know, clean up a kill that they've got so they can then, you know, process it and then eat it while they're out on the trail. I don't know the proper words. I'm, I'm just, just trying to guess what the proper words would be for that kind of thing. But yeah, there you go. That's a little bit of a comparison between the super fancy Invictus knife, which is no longer available because the limited edition sold out super quickly, and the Vulcan, but remember, this has just got the little Project Airsoft blendy, ba blend, blendy, blade? bendy blade in there, so now this one is actually Airsoft safe, because if you took this one to Airsoft, you'd probably make it so somebody couldn't go home that day. And that's that's not something we wanna do. That's a scary thing. Don't wanna mix these two up. And I'm a little bit worried at the minute I may go to like stab someone by accident with the real one instead of just my like bendy, bendy blade one. Although to be fair, to be safe, I probably just shouldn't try to stab anyone at all. But I do wanna get an airsoft kill with this. I'm dedicated to taking this out with me and getting an airsoft kill. I probably shouldn't stab anyone, but I'm really dedicated to get that airsoft kill. <laughs> It, I don't mind if it's this one. I feel like it's better for me to give this back to you as soon as possible because then I know for a fact that I've only got an airsoft safe knife around me. I know what I'm like, you know, I get excited and then I just mess around and then all of a sudden I've cut your finger off and, and that's not a position where I think anybody here is gonna be happy. Huge shout out to all my patrons. Thank you very much for supporting the channel month for month. You are all wonderful, beautiful people and I love each and every one of you so very much. Big shout out as well to Novich for having me over at their offices here in Austin. Austria. And if you're looking for an airsoft community to join, why not check out the Stay Fresh US of Community Discord server? Linked in the description below. There's over 700 airsoft friends in there at the minute, and you can make some airsoft friends too. And maybe you can make friends and then stab them. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Remember to call your hits, and I'll see you in the next one.